So I, I quit drinking entirely, like everything. I even quit doing drugs. Oh, that kind of sucks, right? I don't know, but like I go to a lot of meetings and I've been sober for a while and it's pretty good. But the thing is, I think people just divulge too much information at meetings too quickly at these things, you know? Like I was at a meeting the other day and this guy, he, he had two days sober, which is great for him and everything, but he kept overusing the word used to a lot. You know, he's like, hey, my name's Bill, I'm not calling. You know, I used to, like, suck dick for drugs and alcohol. I was like, whoa, dude, used to was Monday, bro. <laughs> Get that 30-day chip and tell us that story. You know what I'm saying? The <laughs> fuck? There's, like, a lot of young girls who overuse the word miracle too much in meetings, I think. Like, 16-year-old girls. It's not as damn I'm talking, but today is a miracle. <laughs> like everything around me is a miracle. This stool we can sit on it—that's a miracle. <laughs> Do you know what's really a miracle? Me and all three of my sisters are in rehab at the same time. That's a miracle. <laughs> I was like, not for your parents. <laughs> it's expensive. But I live here in Orange County, I live in Huntington Beach, and there's a lot of... That's... That's... That's good. Wouldn't that be cool if you could just walk anywhere and say where you're from and get that kind of a response? Like in jail, that doesn't happen. You're like, I'm from Huntington Beach, you're like, fuck you, widow. Nobody fucking cares. Go surf, you fucking puto. Fucking surfing puto. <laughs> but it's true, it's like, I don't know why, there's so many surfers in Huntington Beach, I don't know why, but how come every time when surfers are talking, they're always rubbing their nipple when they're talking? Just like, bro, did you go out this morning? And it's like... It's like all surfers I know are named after Banks. It's just like, this is my buddy Morgan and Stanley and Chase. <laughs> We're all going out. It was like... But it's, it's like names are funny in itself, you know? Like uh, names, I stereotype people by their names automatically. My sister started dating this Mexican dude and I was like, oh my God, what's his name? She's like, Scott. <laughs> Because that's, you know what, I do. You know, it's just like what society is telling me. For, okay, check it out. This is, I used to think that black people named their kids some crazy shit, right? But in reality, white people are the ones that named their kids crazy shit. White people just like to name their kids after like, organic vegetables or diseases that don't happen anymore. Just like, typhus, get over here. Grab your brother, Kale. <laughs> Has anybody seen Lupus? Where is Lupus? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm guilty, my kid's name is Forrest. You know? He's like, kind of cute. Sometimes. Most of the time, he's just a shady little bastard. Because <laughs> he's eight years old, and at this age, kids think they're just so slick, but they're not. Like, my son thinks he's a gangster, like in the mafia or something, you know? He's not allowed to have candy in his backpack, for instance, and I found candy, and I wanted to hit him up about it. I'd be like, hey, what's going on with this? He looked me straight in the face, and he's just like, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Like, so cocky, might as well just said bitch. Like, I don't know where that came from, bitch, figure it out. <laughs> You're the fucking grown up, dog. <laughs> I don't know what this deal is. But he's at an age also where it's like awkward, like shit's awkward. Um, he's asking questions. He asked me what a boner was the other day. 
What are you telling eight year old? Well, I, I told him all his friends are boners. I did tell him that. <laughs> but, but I had to be a good parent. What I was taught as a parent is to ask the child what he thinks it is, right? To see where he's at. So I said, I don't know, what do you think it is? And he's like, like, I think it's like when you have to pee really bad. <laughs> so I don't want to deal with it. I'm like, yeah, that's good, whatever. You know, like. But it backfired because a few days ago, he woke up before me in the morning, came into my room, jumped on top of me, and he's like, hey, dad, look, whoa, dad, you gotta go pee. <laughs> That's what happens when you lie to your kids about shit. <laughs> I don't know, he's a good kid, he's innocent, but you know what another thing kids do is, like my son puts me in the most awkward positions in public. I'll give you an example, we went to the park, okay? And as we're walking up to the park, we see a little girl with one arm playing at the park. And I was like, oh shit, he's gonna say something stupid. <laughs> Because you can't tell him not to say something because he's going to focus on it and just fucking say shit. So I just rolled the dice. I let him go play and I sat in the corner. The whole time he's moving towards this little girl and he's like pointing at her. And looking at me like... I'm like, go play. But luckily the little girl's mother was there and my son couldn't hold it in. He's like, um... She doesn't have an arm. <laughs> but the mom was really nice, and the mom said, Oh, sweetheart, it's okay. She was born that way. And my son goes, Oh, then yells across the park to me and goes, Oh, Dad, she was born that way. <laughs> <laughs> like I was the one inquiring about it. He made it look like when we first got there, I'm like, hey, go figure out that one arm shit. I'll be over here. What a kick, right? 